Okay, now we're going to roll call. Um, Mr. Cariffi? Here. Ms. Grignani? Here. Ms. McCarthy? Ms. McCarthy? Here. Ms. Peterson? Here. Mr. DePiro? Here. Also in attendance are Mayor Michael Soriano, Business Administrator Keith Kazmark, uh, Township Attorney Jim Lott, uh, CFO Ann Clucci, and the Township Clerk Colette Madden. Uh, Council President, we have a quorum. May I begin? Please. Okay. Uh, upcoming meeting, uh, June 9th, 2020 at 7 p.m. That's an agenda meeting. June 23rd, 2020 at 7 p.m. is a regular meeting. Uh, we have approval of minutes. We have the minutes on for the agenda meeting of March 3rd and the agenda meeting of April 7th. I need a motion to approve. Make a motion. Second. Motion made by Mr. Carippi, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Mr. Carippi? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. And Mr. DePiro? Yes. Okay, motion passes. At this time, we're going to go into presentations and reports. Uh, Mayor? Mayor, are you there? Yes, here I am. I was on mute. Sorry. Apologies. Um, um, we are continuing in, as a township to do our mobile food deliveries on Fridays. We started originally at the PAL, but we outgrew that size uh, of the parking lot about five weeks ago. So you, we are now um, um, uh, under the, um, uh, the Liquid Church is allowing us to use their very large parking lot. And uh, they, they've uh, also been helping us with... Um, traffic safety as well. And uh, I really want to thank our Parks and Forestry Department, um, um, our, our Health and Human Services Department as well, uh, the Department of Recreation, and uh, um, the Parsippany Trails Police Department for all their help with this. Um, this past Friday, we provided meals for 340 families. Um, we've now, we're now in the thousands of meals that we've handed out for the past seven weeks. Um, when we originally started the idea of the mobile food pantry, it was just to take care of a couple of families in town that, you know, were, were, were having a rough time before COVID-19. Now that COVID-19 is here, it's it's fortuitous that we had this set up so we could provide this service to people. So uh, um, I, I really want to thank everyone involved with it. Uh, um, again, the Liquid Church and Table of Hope uh, coming out of uh, Morristown with uh, the actual deliveries and uh, it's really appreciated and it's very moving. So um, thank you to everyone who's volunteered and helped out with that. Um, as we all know, this um, coming Monday is Memorial Day. Um, we will not have our traditional Memorial Day ceremonies that we've had in town. We've had to sacrifice a lot during COVID-19 and unfortunately this is one of them, but one thing we will not give in on, we will find a way and we have found a way to honor the men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the protection of our nation. Um, I want to thank again, and this is going to uh, um, come up more than once today, um, the cooperation and uh, uh, leadership here with uh, Council President Michael DiPiero. Uh, Mike, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for everything you did uh, helping us put this together. And um, we are going to do a virtual video session of our Memorial Day ceremony. It's going to be based on what we normally do uh, um, at Memorial, at the Veterans Park at 11 o'clock. Um, keep posted on our township website, Facebook page, and email for exact details, but we're looking to air it on cable, on, uh, on video on the go, and to have it on Facebook as well. Okay, so more details to follow. Uh, the video is still being put together right now as we speak. Um, I want to thank the team here at Town Hall for all their work in putting the 2020 budget together. This was a very challenging task this year, and especially in light of all the variables that exist due to the COVID-19 crisis. Now, we had to make some very difficult decisions, and we even reviewed options that would have resulted in layoffs and 
furloughs. After many meetings, discussions, and versions of this budget, we arrived after making significant cuts, including a 10% reduction in all operating expenses in every department, with the exception of a uh, trash and recycling collection, uh, cuts in seasonal staff, cuts in community programming, and changes due to COVID-19. I further want to thank the council, especially Council President Michael DiPiero, for working with the administration after the budget was presented to make a few more cuts, which we could all agree upon. The fact that we could come together, just as we did with the affordable housing plan, shows that we can, in fact, work together for the future of Parsippany and for our taxpayers. I truly appreciate the sense of cooperation extended by everyone involved, and I look forward to having a budget in place so we can properly plan for the rest of the year. And, and in general, and in response to the public health situation that we're still dealing with right now. Thank you again to everyone. Uh, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend coming up. Don't forget to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. God bless you all. And that concludes my report, Clerk and Mr. Council President. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, any reports from any member of the Township Council? No. Not at this time. Sorry, Laura, go ahead. Okay, seeing that there are no reports from Township Council. Wait, hold on. I was going to say I have um, from the library. Could I read that now or do you want that or No, no, read it now. That's fine. The Parsippany Library is closed. It's continuing to offer programming for children and their caregivers. Hey, uh, Emily, I'm sorry. Emily, I'm sorry to cut you off. Could you could you possibly just turn the, the mic down a little bit only because we're having a major echo? Yeah, is that better? No. Better? And and, and uh, Mike, if you can also turn your uh, council president, if you can please just turn your speakers as well. Everybody, just check the uh, the thing on their speakers, please. All right, I think we're fine. Okay, the Parsippany Library is closed to the staff, uh, but the staff is continuing to offer virtual programming for children and their caregivers on Facebook. This includes cooking lessons, steam programs, story times, yoga, jokes and riddles, and virtual competitions such as make a paper airplane and a dance contest. For adults, tech sessions are featured on the library's YouTube channel, as well as poetry readings, excerpts from books, how to deal with stress, and mini presentations by library class presenters. A Zoom yoga for seniors class is being offered on Tuesday mornings, and the public may borrow ebooks and e audio content by logging into the website www.parsippanylibrary.org. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Peterson. Any other member from the Township Council? Okay, seeing none, we'll move right along to the uh, Township Attorney. Uh, Jim? I have no report. Okay, no report. Uh, moving along to uh, the business administrator. Uh, thank you, Mr. Madden. Um, just to bring the council and the public up to speed as to where the municipality stands relative to the COVID-19 public health emergency. Um, as of today, we had 709 reported cases from our health department. 503 of those cases are now closed. Uh, tragically, we've had 75 deaths here in Parsippany. Um, 32 of those individuals passed away at home. 43 passed away at long-term care facilities here in the township. Uh, as anyone who's been following Governor Murphy's executive orders uh, is starting to see that the state is slowly turning back on, while I acknowledge it's not as fast or as swift as some people uh, may think it should be. Uh, we are now starting to see uh, certain businesses uh, open for curbside pickup, and we are also looking at non-essential construction uh, being allowed to take place throughout the state of New Jersey. Uh, one of the considerations that we've had to make here in the township, especially with non-essential construction reopening for business, is the fact that our building department and our construction office uh, will be open, reopening to the public this coming Tuesday, May 26th, the day after Memorial Day. Uh, obviously, if construction projects are going to commence in the township, uh, those folks are going to need to come in and secure building permits. I'm working with uh, Director Jen Vili 
to mm -hmm. establish not only uh, public areas where people can come in in the building, uh, depending on the employee that they need to see to pull their permit, but we're also going to be working with Parks and Forestry to set out uh, set up an outside area uh, from the construction office where residents will be able to meet with uh, employees, weather permitting. Uh, so we're in the process of finalizing that plan. It will be dispensed to all of our employees before close of business on Friday. And when they report to work on Tuesday, we'll be bringing back all of our staff and allowing the public to interface with them while honoring all social distancing requirements. Uh, for the rest of the township employees, uh, we are looking to transition back to full staff on or about June 8th. Uh, the governor's executive order as it stands today declaring the public health emergency is set to expire on June 6th. Uh, so while nothing is etched in stone because things change on a day to day basis, uh, our plan is to have our staff return on or about June 8th. Uh, one of the executive orders uh, that was actually reversed from guidance that was given out uh, was concerning uh, graduation ceremonies and religious services. Uh, initially, uh, drive-by graduation ceremonies and drive-in religious services were not permitted. Uh, the governor recently reversed that order, and now uh, school districts, along with um, houses of worship, can plan those types of events as long as they are honoring the social distancing requirements uh, that the state has put forward. Uh, we're still awaiting a decision on summer camp. Uh, we have not received that guidance from the state yet, but as soon as we do, we will be working with... Uh, Joe Plesha and his staff uh, to either plan to have camp if we can meet the standards that the state puts in place or to uh, cancel any of our summer programs in light of the fact that the state makes that decision or if we can't accommodate and meet the social distancing guidelines. Um, on tonight's agenda, there are a number of resolutions uh, that directly relate to the COVID situation. Uh, resolution 111 is authorizing the finance department to issue third quarter estimated tax bills if it is deemed necessary. Uh, resolution 112 has to do with issuing tax anticipation notes uh, should we have any cash flow challenges as we move towards the August quarter. Again, that will be contingent upon need but we appreciate the council uh, providing that authorization early in the process. So if we do need to utilize that as a tool, we will be able to do so. Resolution 113 on the agenda tonight addresses the CARES Act. Uh, municipalities uh, are eligible for reimbursement in counties that exceed 500,000 in population. Uh, that money is being uh, diverted to the county and then the appropriations can be provided to make up for any COVID related expenses uh, to the individual municipalities. In counties that have population under 500,000, uh, the money is going to be uh, funneled through the state. Um, unfortunately here in Morris County, we fall right below that 500,000 uh, person population requirement. So resolution uh, 113 requests that the state take a look at that um, and discuss it with the federal government uh, to possibly have that money come directly to Morris County to be appropriately dispersed to the municipalities for any COVID related expenses. Uh, resolution 116 is in support of a bill that has already passed the assembly and is currently before the state Senate regarding COVID relief bonds. Uh, that's to handle the revenue side of the ledger uh, if we do, in fact, come up short, which we anticipate we will, uh, with regard to the collection of court fees, uh, construction permit fees, hotel and motel taxes, and also tax collection, uh, we want to be able to try to recuperate those funds uh, through some bonding uh, or through the uh, issuance of tax anticipation notes um, that will allow to be paid back over an extended period of time rather than in next year's budget. As it stands now, if we declare a special emergency, we would have to pay that back all in 2021. If we issue tax anticipation notes, uh, that those expenses would have to be incurred within the next 12 months. So resolution 116 allows those payments to be spread out over time to have a less impact on the taxpayer. Uh, with regard to the municipal budget, I too wanna echo the mayor's statements. I wanna thank uh, his office along with uh, all the members of the council and our finance team uh, for helping to put the budget together. 
Um, I especially want to echo his uh, thanks to uh, Council President Michael DiPiero, uh, who I worked closely with on preparing tonight's budget document. Um, I appreciate the partnership and look forward to continuing to work with you as we introduce tonight and move towards adoption next month. Um, and just on a personal note, um, I hope everyone will take the time to uh, observe Memorial Day on Monday. Um, since I was a little kid, I was, uh, it was impressed upon me by my parents, uh, the importance of Memorial Day and honoring those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Uh, my mom's brother was 